Today I want to talk about where your money is situated, whatever money you happen to have. Right? So basically, your money is held in one of three buckets. So let's go through those buckets. The first bucket is a taxable bucket. And what do you find in there? What do you find in there are maybe CDs, savings accounts, maybe some uh, brokerage mutual funds that you might have, and even your real estate. Those are all in a taxable account. They're taxable because at the end of the year, whatever you've earned in that account, they're going to send you a 1099 that you get to report to the IRS. Compounding in a taxable account is a terrible thing to do because as you compound your money, you also tend to compound the taxation on the account. Most people don't have enough money in their taxable account because that's the place where you happen to go get your emergency money when you need to put new tires on the car. You need a roof or you need a new air conditioner and most people don't have enough or they've got too much because they like to put their money at the bank because they're they want to be safe and secure. But that's a taxable account. Next we want to look at the next one which is a tax deferred account. The tax deferred account is where you have your IRA. That's where your 401k is. That is your 403b if you work for a nonprofit or you're a teacher. That's where you have your simple IRA plans. All of your employer plans, these are what they call qualified plans. They're tax deferred because you haven't paid the tax yet. Now when you haven't paid the tax yet, you're assuming that you're going to be in a lower tax bracket when retirement comes. Because that's what we've been led to believe. But if you check out one of my other videos, we've had a conversation about where taxes are going to go. But a little recap, taxes really can only go up. So if you're putting money into a tax deferred account, what you're saying is that I will be in a lower bracket and I will have to pay less tax in the future. But the opposite is probably true. Most people have all of their savings, all their retirement monies set aside in a tax deferred account. The last one is a tax advantaged account, what we might like to refer to as a tax free account. But this tax advantage account has no tax on the growth and it has no tax when you take money out of the account. So I would ask you a question, would you rather have your money in a taxable account where you get a tax bill every year? Would you rather have your money in a tax deferred account where you have no clue what tax you're going to pay? in the future or would you rather have your money over in a tax advantaged account where the money is going to not be taxable to as it grows and not be taxable to you when you take it out. When we talk to people about where they really need to be storing their wealth, the tax advantage account is the one that nobody seems to be taking advantage of. In a tax advantage account you really find two things. You find Roths a Roth IRA or a Roth conversion, a Roth 401k if your employer happens to have that. The other thing is, is cash value life insurance. The most misunderstood financial product that exists. My encouragement to everyone is take a serious look at the tax advantage account. Most of our clients, once we have a conversation with them, really start to look at their tax deferred and say, maybe I've got enough money there. All of my money I'm going to save into the future really needs to go in the tax advantage. And make sure, of course, we've got enough over here in the taxable to take care of those emergencies that undoubtedly come up, especially when you had no expectation of it.